Okay, so there's the uh, Perth Arena and I'm on the overpass uh, a little bus going past underneath so you get a bit of a sense of its size there um, I'm on the overpass, on the Perth side of the overpass over the railway station, uh, over the railway line uh, that crosses from Perth into the Perth CBD into Northbridge and as you can see it's some people have likened this structure to a squashed beer can. I think that's a bit unfair. Um, it's, it has a certain rough grandeur about it. Uh, it's obviously not to everyone's taste. There has been a lot of controversy about it because it's uh, it's been way over budget and, and over schedule. Um, but I think people will come to love it in time, just as they did the old Perth Entertainment Centre, which is actually which used to be just over there and is now, you know, another construction site. Um, but back to the Perth Arena, I'll just try and, if you can see the crane there with the guys right up the top working away, you get a bit of a sense of its size. But you can see there's obviously still quite a bit of work to do on it, even though uh, Elton John is apparently scheduled to play the first concert there pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly when that is, but it's not far. It's not that far away, time-wise. And um, that yellow thing, that sort of totem monolith slash thingo, that's apparently uh, a public art object that shoots laser beams at night. It looks pretty nondescript during the day, but um, apparently it looks quite spectacular at night. So that'll get a bit of interest as well.